Um, and yeah, leg warmers. Um, and my my daughter's like, you're really gonna wear those? <laughs> but yes, I am because I love them. So, so we'll come to our comfortable seat, maybe on a blanket or bolster, just crossing your legs or coming to a place that feels um, supportive and comfortable. So really important for joint space is that our skeletal structure provides the structure and support for our muscles so our muscles can do the best job they can. So coming to um, the pelvis um, grounded, so our sitting bones are both grounded and slightly in front, right? So the perineum, the pelvic floor um, is um, touching the bolster, blanket, or floor, or chair, wherever you're at. Then stacking the vertebrae, right? So just kind of have this sense for a moment. Just bring yourself right up your spine. And almost, if you closed your eyes, you could imagine that each vertebrae is is sep is opening a little bit. So the front, the anterior side of your spine is where um, we can open the space, right, for the discs. We can start to um, even lengthen out of the curves a little bit in our lumbar and thoracic spine. So as we do this, we kind of then feel like a lift behind our ears, right up. Kind of feel um, the crown of the head towards the sky. And our rib cage just kind of balanced over the pelvis, right? So it's all supported here. And as you notice your, your legs either, either folded or straight, wherever they are, just kind of notice how the um, how they touch the earth just let the earth support the leg bones the muscles and your arms rested in your lap for a moment just kind of let your let your head gently draw back over your chest so your ears are more aligned over your shoulders so that can even create a little more space in the cervical spine, right, as we lift up. And you might close your eyes for a moment if you want, just let yourself arrive here. This might feel like a totally different posture when we feel all that lifting. And just take a few breaths. Just kind of let yourself settle in, but holding space. Just noticing how you're breathing today, maybe as you hold this posture, have a bit of ease too. Right? We always want to bring in a softness. Start to let your mind drift inward or just in touch with this breath. Start to kind of make your inhale to exhale more even and balanced. So we slow down and we get a little more in contact with our physical being and our, and our breath body. You might deepen and lengthen that breath a little bit. Just notice how it is this morning, if it feels <clears throat> like you can deepen and expand the belly a little bit. 
On the inhalation and on the exhale, gently draw your belly in. Just noticing just how you are this morning. All is welcome. Take a moment to notice just a little more space through our shoulders and our neck, just tilting the chin upwards. Let's take a breath in. As you exhale, let your chin drop towards your heart. This lifting and lowering, dropping right into awareness of all these articulating vertebrae that are happening here as you lift and lower. Just isolating the movement of the neck. Head back to neutral and pause. Let's turn your head towards the right, taking a breath. Let's notice what, what sensations are in the shoulders or upper back. And turn the head to the other side, staying relaxed through your shoulders. Just gently, a few times back and forth, inhaling to one side, exhaling to the other side. I notice the cranium moving on top of the cervical spine. So we start to create some separation or space between our neck and our head, just some movement space. And then as you come back to a neutral chin, just pause, let your right ear drop towards your shoulder. All right, take a breath, kind of spin your left ear upwards Right, just so you, you might feel that more in the jaw, in the outer edge of the shoulder. Take a nice breath in and out and know there's nowhere you need to be right now. Maybe you can notice just what's here, right in this space. And then lift your head up tall, drop the head to the other side. All right, several breaths. So this movement we don't do too often in our body. So these muscles can tend to be forgotten, right? So we take several breaths, maybe spin the chin, the ear, the right ear up a little bit. And you'll feel that more in the jaw. That feels okay. Take one more breath to notice. Good. So creating some space from our jaw to our shoulder. And we'll come back up to neutral with the head. Slide your legs out straight. Press through your heels as you draw your toes back. We're just going to spread our toes. Notice all the, the tarsals, right? Spread the toes. So if you can, just for a moment, Bend the toes back towards you. See if you can create space between your toes. And then drop your toes down, just bending the toes. And bring them back. See if you can spread even that little toe out to the side. See if it moves. Go little toe. And then drop the toes. <laughs> Bend the toes. That little one can be the hardest. And then bring the toes back. Create some space. And then we're gonna drop the whole top of the foot forward, or um, uh, plantar flexion. So dropping the uh, toes down, and then inhale, flex the toes back. 
Right, continue to do that a few times. Just wrap the toes down, flex the foot back. Right, feeling the space of the ankles and the top of the foot. So the length of our tibia as well, all the way up to the shins. Take one more breath. Moving into these bones and joint space. So let's circle the ankles a little bit. Just feel that sensation with in and around the circle. So it's all connected here. Take another breath, circling around, exhale, right? So feeling those joints this morning. And we're gonna come back in with the legs. Come all the way down um, onto your back. So we're gonna stretch out full body stretch, right, lengthen out. So we have, um, so we have the length from our sacrum to the crown of our head. Take a nice deep breath in, press through your heels, lengthen through your fingertips. So even the joints of the fingers are getting space. Right, take a nice deep breath. Good, as you exhale, just bring the arms back out to a T and bend your knees. And we'll start to feel some flexion and ex flexion of the hip and knee. So we're going to bring the right knee into the chest, stretch it straight up, and lower it down as you exhale. So just kind of warming the spaces of the joints. We're going to inhale, the knee comes in and up. Exhale to lower down. And just imagine for a moment as you're doing this, right, that you're lengthening almost the ligaments that connect your femur bone to your shin or your tibia, right? See if you can lengthen out as you press your heel into the sky. Take two more breaths, so breathing in, exhaling out. Good, as you land this last one with foot to heel to sky, we're gonna hold for a moment, reach behind the leg, right? So the left leg could be extended or bent and lengthening from our hip to our heels on both sides. So pressing out, but pressing the pelvis down, right? So our pelvis is remaining neutral. And as you do this, um, creating some space across your collarbones, right? So hold for one or two more breaths, just gently pulling the femur bone towards the belly. So joint space in the hip just means that we're, that the surrounding um, tissues and cartilage are fully awake and alive and we bring our mind there. Good. And just slightly bend the knee, left knee can bend. And we're gonna take our hand to the top of that right knee and just circle the leg a few times. So find all parts of that hip capsule, right? Circling around. Left arm could be out to the side, just balancing the left side body. So doing your own circles here, just see how this hip feels this morning. And if you want, you could do it without holding the knee, if that feels good. Let's take this last one, inhale around, exhale, and bring that foot back to the floor. 
Good, we'll pause right there. Just kind of check out how your pelvis lays on the earth. Does it feel different from right to left? As you let the hip capsules just settle back, right? Settle and soften. And let's start to notice our left side. So we're drawing the left knee into the chest, press the heel up. Remember we're finding, we're almost pulling the tibia away from the femur bone. You might even get a millimeter longer as you extend. And then let the leg lower on your exhale. Inhale, flexing the hip and knee and extend, exhale to lower. Remember part of creating joint space is how we mindfully connect to the movement. So we are engaged with what's happening in these joints. Next time you do bring that leg in, stretch it up, reach behind, and let the length of both legs kind of draw the femur bones away from the hip joint. So just in your mind. So energetically, we're pressing away and we're taking several breaths to feel the space of the lungs expand. So even our, our outer edge of our shoulders draw back, giving space in the chest. Take one more breath. And we'll bend that knee. You could bring your hand to the top of it Maybe bend the right knee and do some circles. So find the whole space of your left hip joint, right? So circling around. You might even gently press the knee inward towards the midline of the body as you feel that outer hip. There's always the option of a straight right leg. Good. And the next time you bring that leg around, breathing in, moving in close, and touch that foot back to the floor. And we'll bend both knees and pause. Right? Kind of let the, the pelvic bowl just rest on the earth. Arms out to a T. So as the breath comes in, maybe it comes higher up. So belly expands, chest expands. And we exhale, releasing chest and belly. Long and slow exhale. And mindfully walk your feet to the edges of your mat, so a little wider. And just let your knees rock to the right. So windshield wipers, we're gonna let the, um, the heaviness of the femur bones drop the knees right. Good, and then take your head and let it, um, let your left ear turn towards the floor. Good, so here now, think of your arms like wings spread out wide. So they're reaching, your fingertips are reaching out from your joints. And then we're gonna shift. So leave your wings out wide, but just shift your legs and head to the other side. And then just somatically, right, just kind of roll. So we're going to let our 
Knees go right, our head go left. And then paying attention here to the joints as we roll from one side to the other, just noticing where does any resistance start to come in? So you can just roll right over those glute muscles and over the sacrum and notice, is there any place in the hip capsule that feels restricted or more tight? And then you might notice also the cervical spine as you rock your head back and forth. And we'll bring our legs and our head back to neutral. And pause. As you walk your feet back in. All right, just take a few moments just to feel some forward and back pelvic tilting. So we're going to inhale, tilt the pelvis forward. So arching the back. And exhale, press your back down. So here we're finding from almost L4, L5, over the sacrum to the coccyx. Breathing in. And then exhaling from the coccyx over the sacrum to L4, L5. We're just pressing the back down. Right, so we may create some space in the joint of the sacrum. The sacrum is actually a movable joint here. See how deep your breath can get with these pelvic tilts a few times. Let your exhale roll back to that lower lumbar press. So we find a little space there and every joint. So we're going to roll to one side and come on up. And we'll come actually, let's come all the way to standing. And I thought we would use a chair. You don't have to for some of these poses, but just to create um, some really good connection to support and um, space within it might be a nice um, a nice addition to just have the chair so as you come to mountain um, come coming upright we're going to create a little a nice tall a tiny nice tall mountain press down into your of the triangle of your foot. So the big toe ball and the little toe ball and the heel and press down, rise through your spine. We're gonna clasp our hands and take all this energy up from the earth. Take a press up and let the palms lengthen. So we're gonna flex the shoulders so we get all this space. So we're lengthening, even creating separation between our um, intercostal muscles and our rib cage. So pressing up tall, take a breath, inhale. As you exhale, lower the hands to the crown of the head, backs of the hands. Inhale, press the palms up and exhale. Hands to the crown of the head. Let's do that a few times, almost like you know, we're sensing the downward and upward energies. 
right? We're pressing away from the earth, but we have roots going down. And from our heels to the crown of our head, there's new space opening up. And this last one, we're gonna take the palms and lift, maybe lift up onto the balls of the feet. All right, see if you can hold for three or four breaths, balancing on the balls of the feet. <laughs> Some days easier than others, and lower your heels and lower your hands, keeping your space in your body nice and tall. Good, we'll take a uh, inhale, clasp hands again, press the palms up, and this time um, taking a side bend. So pressing down into feet, up and over to side. And as you hold, right, in and create the space in your intercostals. So if the clasped hands is too much, you could drop one hand to your leg. It's up to you. Continue to hold and lengthen from that left hip to armpit to the left fingertips, taking a breath or two. Good. Reaching all the way up. Bring your hands back to the heart for a moment to exhale. Good, kind of receive on that left side. You feel the tingling, the sensations. And we'll clasp hands, press them all the way up, inhale. Other side, exhale over, pause and hold. Notice roots and then create space. So I like to feel that front side of the lung space expand and open. Let's take one more breath. Come all the way back up. And let the arms stretch out to the sides and down. Let's take a shoulder roll. Just take a nice big lift up and roll back and down. Good. Stepping your feet a little wider. Actually, let's come um, just a little wider than shoulders. And one more little warming. We're gonna drop into our joints a little bit, softening, um, spreading toes, feeling the bottoms of the feet, right? Letting that plumb line through the center of the body, right? Keep us tall and reaching across. So this is a Qigong arm circle. So we're gonna inhale, reach out, up and around. Exhale, down. And like you're ready to spring off the earth, but really soft on your exhale. Right, push away from the earth. Inhale, arm moves up, around and down. So we're Creating this movement meditation, really opening up space on our right side body. Let's pause. Reach to the other side. Left arm across. Exhale out down and around. So feeling the whole left side body now expanding, stretching, creating space. Staying connected in the lower body, right? As we press off the earth, we feel our space between our toes the arches as they lift away from the floor. Let's take one more breath. Good. 
and just pause, maybe stepping in just a little bit. I'm the plumb line through the body, sink a little bit into your feet, spread your toes and gaze straight ahead, find a drishti, a focal point. And then we'll step our feet wide, turn the toes to the left or towards the chair. So if you're, um, use, if you're using a chair, we're gonna take um, a triangle. So really send the femur bone, the left femur bone back into the hip. Your right hip goes, uh, goes way to the right, but we're staying in our feet, so both feet and start to reach, right? So the left hand could come to the chair. And make sure, so our legs, our skeletal structure is supporting our muscles. We're not overextending, so our muscles are grasping to pull us into balance. So have your skeleton support your muscles. So hand to chair. Now spin your right ribs up. Right, keep length in the left ribs as well. So space between the lower left rib and hip. And the right arm overhead. So the use of the chair might give you a, a little more height to really stack one shoulder over the other. And then almost coming into the space of the heart and then out, bring your mind to your hands and your feet. So there's something moving outwards from center as if we're spreading our skeleton, right? Take one more breath. And then circle that left arm down and around. Hop your back foot in. We're going to come into Pyramid, Parsvottanasana pose. And so today, with if we use the chair, we're going to take our, our hands, spread them wide, starfish hands. So our, our joints of our fingers get space. Through our wrists, we load and we send our hips back. So left foot ahead of the right. We're going to send our hips back between our feet. And then here we are, we're you know, inching our hands forward. Our scapula are, are sliding upwards on our back. So our sitting bones are going, um, going um, straight back, but our scapula are coming towards our head. And almost like pulling the spine, lengthening the spine out. Take a moment, right? Pause there, stay there and breathe, right? Take several breaths to notice the shape. And if you find that, um, that your uh, excessive stretch in any of your joints, if it's at the attachment point, soften your knees slightly. Let the stretch be in the belly of the muscle rather than at the attachment point. Good, and we'll take one more breath here. And then let's take a lift up, look forward, walk in a little bit. So we're gonna take our, um, uh, widen our stance just slightly, but come a little closer to the chair or block if you're using it. Take a lift up through your spine right, coming into revolved uh, triangles. So we're gonna find our hip joints, pull back on your femur bones, right? So hands to hips, press back on your femur bones, lengthen through your spine, and you could bring your right hand to the chair once you get there, right? So hips way back. Now, like revolving on a spit, we're gonna take our rib cage to revolve, right? Bring our inner thighs closer together by just the attention there, right? So our, our um, left arm is going to move overhead. 
So once we get there, how can we spread this out, take the load into every part of our body? So it's not just in one joint, it's in our fingers even, right? So our fingers are wide, it's in our wrists, it's in our length, right? It's in our movement into all space of our body. So our back heel is pressing down, our front left big toe. Let's take one more breath. Circle that arm down and around and step forward. Good, let's come all the way up, take a deep breath. Reach overhead and bring your hands back to your heart. All right, let's step wide to the other side. All right, so finding our toes facing right. Okay, turning in that direction. And then check out, does your stance support your muscles? Are your muscles having to grasp for stability? Here I feel like my knee joint is grasping. If I hop in a little bit, it feels stable. It feels like the bones are able to stay with, um, have stability. So find that first, right? Then start to reach, right? So we'll take our right hand, our right arm, fingers, plug like you're gonna plug it into a socket way across the room. And then bring the hand to the chair, right? Left hip swings way back, right ribs lengthen. And we reach the left arm up. So triangle pose. Good, so here a lot of action, left side body spinning up. So we're bringing our right shoulder and right hip underneath as best we can, right? But we're also pressing down into the earth. So the load is going into our feet, our knees. It's going up our spine. It's going into our hands as we plug our fingertips into the sky. Let's take one more breath. Swing that left arm down and around and shorten your stance as you face the chair now. We'll come on up. So hips are facing chair. Find the crease of your hips. Good. So we created a lot of space in pelvic tilting so we could find this crease, right? So find the pelvic movement. We're gonna send our sitting bones back as we uh, tilt the pelvis forward. So it might take a moment, press your femur bones back with your hands or the thumbs. You could use your thumbs. Look forward. Bring your hands to the chair. Stay grounded through your feet and start to inch maybe your hands forward if that works for you. Right. Continue to square your hips and notice that your right big toe is pressing down your left heel and come into a contraction a bit into, in your quads. You want your quads to be active here. So you're lifting. You might press your toes down and feel your quads lift. So see your knees get more space as you lift the patella up a little bit. Right? So as you're holding, you might think of some of those actions, the active quad, right? The reaching of the arms, the fingers spread taking the load of the pose into every joint, not just one. Let's take one more breath. And breath is really important, right? That gives us a moment of a bridge between our mind and our body. So stay with the breath. And 
and then we'll soften your knees, walk your hands in, come a little closer to the chair, and keep that length in your spine as you draw your scapula down your back. So almost feel like you're, you're, um, you're going to drop your scapula into your back pockets. Left hand presses down. We're going to take revolve triangle. So we start to spin. So grounded in both feet, start to revolve your right ribs, right shoulder, upwards, right arm extends. And there's a bit of contraction in our, in our um, right oblique muscle, right? It's helping us to turn, it's helping us to twist and a contraction in the perineum or in inner thighs or adductors. We take several breaths to arrive and expand. It's alive to be here, right? So almost see if you get an inch away from the joints, like our fingers are pulling away from the joints, our heels and our feet are pressing down, the load goes up the spine, And then release, bring the hand back down. And let's step forward and come all the way up. I just feel the release of that pose. Feel the after effects in your pause and mountain. Check out your breath. Good. We're going to try one or two more standing pose. Just one more standing pose. So balancing half moon. We're going to step our feet. Um, actually step so your toes face towards the left again. So left toes face the chair. And we're gonna soften the left knee a little bit. So our, we're only, we're in a short stance here. Just soften the left knee. Balancing half moon, we're gonna bring our left hand to the chair or the floor if you wanted to, right? Keep that nice open space in the chest like triangle pose. And you might need to adjust your distance. We're gonna hop forward and land on that left foot, lifting the right leg into the air, right? So keeping the shape of triangle with our shoulder stacked, over, right shoulder over left, right hip over left. So here we go with our Stretch and arrival, right? Spread your toes. Feel the head kind of lengthen away from the spine. Feel the active quad. So as you press into all four corners of your foot, your supporting legs should be fully active. Inner, outer thighs, quad and hamstrings. Take one more breath. And lower that arm and leg down. Good, swing your hands towards the chair and walk back into down dog. So we'll just take a brief down dog here. Just hips back over heels, lengthen your sides. Drop your head. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. In this space, I notice my diaphragm has a lot of space to play. Breath moves in and out. And then walk forward. And we'll come into balancing half moon on the other side. So right foot steps up to the chair. Soften your knee, right hand onto the chair. 
Roll your shoulder blades down your back as you spin your heart space up or out, right? So left ribs up. So you could even stay here if you wanted to, keeping that nice spaciousness on the left side body or lift the leg, right? Press through all your spaces. Come back to the center of your being. You could even soften your joints a little bit. I might like that. Just to feel the exaggeration and then press outward through hands and feet. Creating space. Space between your cells, right? So even lengthen as if the roof of the mouth would kind of pull outwards towards the crown of the head. And when you're ready, just circle that arm down and around. And last downward dog, we'll just walk back. And breathe. So just find the after effects of that pose. Right, just keep that length in your lumbar spine. Let's take this last one and really hug your belly in towards your spine, creating a gentle Uddiyana Bandha or belly lock. And walk forward. Come all the way up. You could take your chair aside. And let's come down onto your back. And come into a supine posture. And see how you feel. You might spread your legs and arms out away from your body, creating space. your eyes soften and the tongue fall back away from the roof of the mouth maybe a little space and when you're ready just bend your knees Bring your knees in close. We're gonna take our right leg over, our right ankle over the left knee. So coming into a reclined pigeon pose. So you might lift that left leg in towards your belly, reach behind the left knee, right? To gently pull in on the femur bone. And if you need to, you could use a strap here around that left leg but you don't want to feel like you have to curl your head up or your chest to get there you want to be able to keep your head and your shoulders against the floor and the pelvis grounded and flexing your feet gives space in the ankle joint and not too much pressure on the outer edge of the ankles and then take a moment to find your shape here. Which joint is really bearing the most load of this stretch? And then see if you take, if there are subtle adjustments that take some of the load out of that joint, maybe the flex of the foot. Maybe the lengthening of the sacrum towards the sitting bone. So pressing maybe the sitting bones towards the floor gives a little more space or takes some of the load of the stretch. Maybe it's just the breath 
takes some of the load, it disperses some of the intensity out of the joint. And then let that foot come back down to the floor. Slide your legs together, arms out to a T. And we're just gonna let our knees drop to the left. So, um, but before you do, you might pick up the hips, move them slightly to the right, and then drop the knees over. I'll give your spine a little more um, length, I guess, or neutrality. Take three or four breaths, really letting your exhale settle this pose a little deeper. If you have any, um, any sacrum discomfort, don't overstretch this one. You might not cross your legs and spinal twist. It does put a little more load on the sacrum. Let's bring our knees back up and unwind. S neutral hips, so we might swing the hips back over a little bit. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. And we'll take that stretch on the other side. So bringing the right, uh, right leg in close, reach through and behind that knee could clasp in front of it if it if you have um, um, you know knee, healthy knees that without any um, problem with fret flexion in them you could hug in front of the shin but more likely behind the knee. Take your time to notice where the load of the stretch lies, and then how can we disperse some of that load? It happens when you flex your left foot, or even take the tailbone more towards the floor, the sitting bones more towards the floor. And maybe even if we hug our low belly in, does that take any load away from the hip joint? And then the breath may further bring some of that load and disperse that energy other places. As you release and slide your legs together, arms out to a T, and we'll just let the knees drop to the right. Or first, pick up the hips, take them to the left a little bit, and then drop your knees to the right. You could turn your head towards the left if that feels good. Take about three more breaths to explore where the load and the disbursement of the load can go. And when you're ready, just Bring your knees back to neutral and slide out to Shavasana. Again, um, noticing as you, as you come into Shavasana, notice if the body has more space.
And as you drift down, maybe take a slow scan down through the body. Settling any further tension that you can with each breath. So you might just, <clears throat> just take a moment to check in with yourself. <clears throat> just revisiting any shifts or changes from the beginning of the class, from our starting point. Check in with your mind. So you might take a moment to slowly move um, your body, maybe by hugging your knees into your chest. Maybe just a rock side to side on your back. Be moving into um, a short guided meditation if you're staying for that. You could make your way to a seated posture if you like.
So as you come to a comfortable seat, just do this short guided meditation for the elements to further balance our subtle body with earth, water, fire, air, and space. So you could begin by just coming into a tall spine. Your bones are supporting your, the structure of your, of your muscles in a comfortable way that's steady and at ease. Take your thumb and touch the ring finger. So the tip of the ring finger delicately touches the thumb on both hands and just rest the back of the hands in the lap. As you close your eyes and soften here, just letting go. There's nowhere to be and there's no effort to be made, but just to kind of allow an arising. So you bring your attention to the shape of the hands and the holding of this earth mudra or prithvi mudra. Direct the energy in the body to the element of earth. Let's begin to attune to the subtle breath as it moves in through the nose and out through the nose. You allow the field of the body to unfold into awareness. As you hold this gesture for the earth element, you'll be noticing where your attention is drawn. You take a breath in, does the breath move in any particular direction in the body? As you exhale, do you notice where the body settles? As we attune with a soft and openness to our awareness in this field of the body. Take a moment to shift the touch of your thumb to the tip of your littlest finger, your small, your, your pinky finger, and stretch the other three fingers out. And how does that shift the subtlety in your body? Where do you notice? a shift 
as we take the mudra for the water element, Jala Mudra. Take very subtle, slow, and relaxed breaths. You might find the attention goes to the below the navel, around the around the mid area between the navel and the pubic bone. Round to the sacral area. Let's take several breaths to notice where your attention lies, where the breath moves freely. Where the exhale settles. you continue to just be at ease and rest into the witness self, the watching.